Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Game Night. Uh, just wanted to apologize uh, for those that uh wondering how come I didn't have much content up. I was out of town over my friends uh, in Indiana visiting for a couple weeks. Um, I did a couple videos from there, but their internet's really slow and sometimes it gets wonky and we got a lot of rain, so it wasn't really uh, letting me uh, upload stuff in a, a decent amount of time. So, and then the, the board games we played, my friend, uh, we worked as like first time him and I playing them together. So uh, we didn't film any of those, but for the solo games, that I have, uh, I'll definitely, like Dark Tower, I'm definitely going to play a solo of that for you guys, so that'll be up, um, soon, uh, because I just got to get stuff around here done, uh, because I just got back, I'm packing and all that from the vacation, and I got mail to go through, um, and stuff, like, other stuff's coming up, like, East, uh, Easter and all that, so, Anyways, so I got some pickups here. Uh, so that's the front of the box. That's the back of the box. So, so content will be coming. I have, I have no, no, no doubt have a lack of content to put up. That's for sure. Video games, board games, whatever. I had to go on vacation to kind of relax. So... Basically, use my vacation to unwind. Wow, this book is pretty thick. Uh, so, and we got the board. And this is how many players is this game? Uh, two to four. So. So yeah, there's this. This is the main board. <sighs> Little player pieces. <clears throat> Some tokens to punch out. And some player more play pieces here. Uh tokens and stuff, uh, <coughs> the standees, uh, thing, oh, let me get, of course we got some custom dice here, and, all right, and they're etched in there, that's pretty cool, we got like a little clock there, so, clock dice, some colored rings, and so these are the dice I don't know all about this game so I don't really know um, what all is in here uh, so okay these are pretty thick uh, so these are the characters cards They're pretty thick There's those. We got some tarot size cards here. I'm pretty sure you can play a solo it's a cooperative game. Uh, <clears throat> the professor cannot lock doors this turn. So there's that. Oh, so these are, it looks like it's kind of like a, a Like you're trapped in a, uh, what do they call those, um, uh, a tra uh, like a, 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 a death trap room, like kind of sort of like saw or something. You got to escape it. That's what it kind of looks like. like. The rooms of death. 
And we got, okay, these are the location cards, so I guess this is where the guy will, the bad guy will move. I guess like his movement deck, I would imagine. The vault. Uh, so, yeah, so it looks like these are all the little locations that the players can go. We got ballroom, cellar, entrance hall, gallery, greenhouse, laboratory, library, and parlor. Maybe. It might be something else. I just, I'm not too sure. And is there anything underneath the box? No. So, this file, as it goes, I mean, the best thing to do, we can always look at the index here. Uh, let's see, 12 switch tiles, 6 treasures. Thirty location cards. So yeah, it looks like it's uh, pretty cool. So all right, we will figure everything out as the time goes by. <laughs> It's just neat to see what, what the game has in the box here. So, PR Evil, Professor Evil. So we all know he's not a good guy. Not a good guy at all. Okay. That over to the side. And then I have this. Uh, Tang's Garden, which is the box is huge. Oh. Okay, I guess it's a different, uh, maybe it's a reprint or something. Maybe this is a newer printing. I don't know. Might be a second edition. Who knows? We will find out. <laughs> Punch boards can be found underneath the board. So, <clears throat> so we got these little player trackers. Bada boom, bada bing. Nice. A bunch of little miniatures. And I believe these are the tiles for the pagoda and stuff. For the parts. Yeah. They have all kinds of little stuff here. pieces are really nice so um you got <clears throat> cards yeah. the little ones here so let's see you got fish okay these are like the birds Okay, these must be, uh, yeah, 
these must be like a, um, what they call it, uh, tasks and stuff for the game. And these are the emperors. I believe each one of these have different abilities. Yeah, archivist. Yeah, so each character is represented by um, a figure there. I would imagine that was. Yeah, got that. Yeah, they're all. So I have to look at all these, but I think these. these this game's got a lot of a lot of stuff. Little tokens. The markers for the tracks on the player boards. And then it's got these pieces, which I believe are for the uh, for these guys right here for the pagodas. Yeah. So the little pagodas right there. Got trees. So we got the punch boards here. Uh, this one's just. Oh wow, they're pretty thick cardboard stack here. Um, wow. Um, this must have been a fixed version because um, the cardboard's really thick. The yen, the yen money. You know, it looks like that's all the money. They are, they are like the little tiles look pretty cool yeah the artwork is just wow really cool Really beautiful artwork. Very bright. I mean, it's like uh, they put a lot of work into the artwork. <clears throat> so yeah, you're basically building a a, a, gar a yen garden, basically a tang or tang garden. Uh, and they got these little, you can add inserting landscape tiles, like, around the out there. Landscape tiles outside of the, uh, board and everything like that, so. So you're just basically, and I would imagine these are, yeah, icons on these, dec uh, decoration cards are scored at the end of the game, so yeah. You got the, the bird and fish, uh, lotus and peonies, bridges, pavilions, and trees. So I'm wondering if uh, <coughs> if bridges are uh, <clears throat> 3D or not. Yep. The bridges are even 3D. That's cool. Little 3D bridges, so. And then these are, so, and these are tubes. Uh, four character tokens. And then the 12 miniatures, and then uh, the little color, or the little rings for the players, you know, which which ones are yours. That's cool. So, that's what those were. You just pop on your bottom of your character. I like when they do that. So you're not defining with a specific color. Because some people I know don't like certain colors. <clears throat> Being they don't have to re, you know resort to a color they really don't like even better. So yeah, everything's gotta get punched out. But it says it's one to four players, so I could probably play it solo for you guys. So I'm intrigued by this one. I got it for me and my fans to play. It's just something real to me it, it seemed like a relaxing theme and uh, so I don't know. That is something. And I got her her um, Easter gifts that she wanted, uh, which I'll let her 
Either if she doesn't want to box them, I'll I'll show you guys. I guess because sometimes she don't want to film. <coughs> so anyways, I'm just gonna be relaxing today. Uh, enjoy the video, and like I said, more's coming. I just like I said, I just got back from vacation, so I'm a little bit wiped. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching.